Ian here from In 30 Minutes Guides. Check out my iPhone. The glass over the lens is broken and I'm gonna show you how to replace that glass. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me and let's get started. This is an iPhone 11 and uh, I broke the glass even though I have a case. I think I dropped it on a pebble or something like that. The camera still works. The lens underneath is okay, but the glass itself needs to be replaced. And you're gonna need a few things to do this. The first thing, of course, is your iPhone. So just turn that off and put it aside. The other thing you're gonna need is one of these kits. They cost $10 from Amazon and it has some tools, which I'll show you what those look like in a minute. And then some optional things, but highly recommended. One of them is a hairdryer, ordinary hairdryer. Uh, just get that out from your uh, closet or whatever. And then I use these two things as well. This is just a simple, kind of a plastic tray to hold all the bits of pieces of broken glass so I can throw it out. And then this is a, a glass cleaner so I can kind of scrub things clean at the end. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I opened up the kit that is used to replace the glass for the camera lens on the iPhone. And also if you look at the description for this video, I'll have links to all of this stuff. These are really inexpensive. This was maybe $10, $15 or something like that. And just, as I said before, make sure that you get the proper kit for the right iPhone that you have. So I'm using an iPhone 11 in this particular video, but if you have an iPhone 13 or 12 or 10 or whatever, they'll have special kits for each one of those. And the difference is, is that as you know, you know, iPhone 10, I believe only has one lens. Uh, iPhone 13 has two lenses. And on this particular phone, there are also, actually iPhone 13 has three lenses. iPhone 11 has just two lenses and you can see the different replacement glass. Uh, they basically have um, the two different types of uh, lens glass covers and they have a spare for one of them. So that comes in a little container. The other things that come in this kit, there's a little cleaner cloth, which is great. A, uh, a, a dry wipe on here and then also a wet wipe here to clean off excess dirt and glass shards and stuff like that. And then most important of all, this, these little neat little tools. So here's a little pair of uh, pincers or tweezers to get off the uh, bits of loose glass. There is an X-Acto knife, which you can also use to scrape stuff away. And then also this little kind of like a plastic pen, which you can use to, um, you know, base poke stuff around or pry stuff off. Now, one thing I want to say when you are doing this with your iPhone is make sure that you do not touch the lens underneath if you can avoid it. So that you can, I don't know if you can see it that well. There's a, the glass cover. Maybe this is clear. Uh, there's a glass cover, then underneath there's a lens. So we're only touching the glass on this one, which is broken, as you can see. Uh, but we do not want to touch the lens underneath, which is perfectly good, which is why we're just replacing the glass. The best way to get started after kind of warming up the glue part is to press down with this plastic pen thing on the kind of the center where the break is and you can feel if it's broken it will it will cave in pretty quickly so i've just done that and then i'm going to start to pick it away but let's make some progress with this and then i'll start using the exacto knife and those little pair of tweezers So I found that actually this, this is the best tool for getting those larger pieces of glass off around the edge. Uh, the X-Acto knife doesn't, doesn't do it as well. One piece, one warning for anyone who's doing this, these are sharp tools. So be very, very careful when you're poking around because first of all, you do not want to, uh, you know, hurt your fingers or your hand while you're using this if your hand slips and then the X-Acto knife catches your skin. But the other thing is, is that these are tiny little sharp pieces of glass. And if these got in your eye or something else, this would be terrible. So actually wear a pair of um, glasses or goggles to cover your eyes, protect your eyes, and just be very, very careful when you're handling these little bits and pieces. Okay, so I've gotten it pretty clean and actually uh, the plastic pencil, this side of it has like a little plastic scraper and that was really useful for getting off the kind of the glue that's around the edge. And I had to keep on using the hairdryer to uh, make that work. But I'm almost cleaned out with this. I'm going to use the uh, that kind of piece of cloth as well as the dry wipe just to clean out some of the stuff that's around the lens. And then we'll be ready to put on the new lens. So when you're handling the new lenses um, in their little bag, you'll see that there's basically a side with like a kind of a, a light colored ring. 
and then there's the uh, the dark colored ring. So this is the top, the outside part of the glass that covers the lens. And then this uh, kind of beige ring that's going around the edge here, that's basically adhesive underneath that. So what you need to do is you need to peel off the adhesive and then you stick it on to the, onto the, uh, to the, to over the lens on the iPhone. One thing I discovered is that these things, they smudge really easily. So I don't recommend using your fingers. Basically the way that I did this is I pry, I put this little X-Acto knife underneath the edge of it and then I pried up and then I use the tweezers to kind of hold it down and you can just kind of peel that right off. Let me just try that again. You have to hold it firmly. Okay, so basically this is ready to stick on to the new iPhone. So this is this is the sticky side, so I turn it upside down and stick it onto the phone. Okay, so I've put on the new glass cover for the lens. It looks fine, but the true test is actually ch checking out the camera itself. And you can see, maybe you can't see that well, but this is really looking good. Beautiful picture, beautiful colors. So I'm pretty happy with that. And again, uh, these little kits, you can get them on Amazon for between $10 and $20. I'll have some notes in the um, description, and you can check out the links yourself. If this video helped you out, please take a moment to uh, like it and follow me. And thank you so much for watching.